For years in New Hampshire, uh, Governor Chris Sununu has been publicly trashing you know who as someone who is not fit to hold office and all that kind of stuff. And suddenly now he's had a change of heart on yesterday on This Week with George Stephanopoulos. Take a look. The reason I'm supporting not just the president, but a Republican administration. He would be the president. And you've said he's an insur someone who's contributed yep. to an insurrection. I understand it doesn't make sense to you, George, but look at the polls. What you're telling me is you don't understand why 51% of this country is supporting Donald Trump. You said in the past that he should drop out if he's convicted in the classified documents case. Do you still believe that? No, 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 he, no. He's going to drop out as, after being the nominee? Of course not. You support him for president even if he's convicted in classified documents. You support him for president even though you believe he contributed to an insurrection. You support him for president even though you believe he's lying about the last election. You support him for president even if he's convicted in the Manhattan case. I just want to say the answer to that is yes, correct? <laughs> yeah, me and 51% of America. 51%? If he had been... Oh, God. <laughs> you know what? It's Monday. Why is he suddenly falling in line with Matt? You know him. So what is he doing? Governor Sununu is a friend. He's entitled to his take. Is he I'm, still a friend? I'm yes. I'm disappointed and I disagree with him. I've mm -hmm. been consistent since I resigned December of 2020. I'll never mm -hmm. support Trump mm -hmm. again. I don't know why it's so hard for people to say it. But with due respect to Governor Sununu, I actually think takes uh, endorsements that matter or non-endorsements way more than his are the people who are closest to Trump. Mike Pence, Mark Esper, John Bolton, Mark Milley, John Kelly, the people who knew him day to day, spent time with him, advised him in critical situations, are not budging. They are not supporting him. So, you know, these outside political figures can kind of do what they want to. I think we can make assumptions about why they are. But I feel like this is somehow getting more attention than the fact that his former vice president isn't backing him. Yeah. That is historic. That is a big deal. And it's because he saw that he's unfit. Pence, who's as conservative as they come, cannot bring himself to I don't to know it. why he did it. Because I actually met him here. I really have have liked him. I disagree on this, and it disappointed me to see it because Mike Pence hasn't come out. Nikki Haley, who everyone expects to do this, hasn't come out. And the part here is if we believe our democracy is at stake and we believe he's unfit, either that is true mm -hmm. or we support him. So when you now say we're going to go policy to policy, that's old school politics. Well, I think and wait one second. Liz Cheney said, in the, uh, the nation can survive bad policy. We can't survive a president who is willing to torch the Constitution. And that, to me, is the crux of this. Mm -hmm. Look, I think, well, first of all, it's not 51% of the country. Right. People who support Trump like to say, talk about half the country. No. 30% um, of people identify, of Americans identify as Republicans, 28 identify as Democrats. The largest party out there is independent, independent and unaffiliated. And Trump did not win 51%. In the last election, that's why he's not president. Duh. Uh, but but the reason he does it, I th I think the reason he does it, and it, it also disappoints disappoints me and it makes me sad. I think the reason Sununu has done this about phases because he's trying to preserve his political options Absolutely. in the future. He is termed out. Uh, in New Hampshire now as governor. But it saddens me so much because there's this entire generation of young uh, Republicans who I think people thought I did had great potential. Folks like Marco Rubio, fo folks like Tim Scott. And it's like Donald Trump must have a huge pantry in Mar-a-Lago where he holds all their spines and other body parts in big jars of formaldehyde because he's turned all these people into these sniveling cowards, Two-faced, charlatan well, clowns. I mean, I'm embarrassed for them. I, I, I actually... Maybe that's who they always were. Maybe that's who they always were. And I think we give certain politicians too much credit. I think people gave Sununu too much credit. If you remember, when he came on this show, I said to him, I asked him, you voted for Trump in 2016, and you even voted for him in 2020. Someone as principled as you are, why would you vote for the antithesis, the very antithesis of what you believe in? And you know what he said? Well, he's not going to be the nominee. So I'm not surprised that he did this. He is every bit of a politician, and he should be ashamed Our of himself. Our system is set up like this, though. That is the problem. We yeah. are running people to the edges of their parties because of the way we do our primaries. So I'm not surprised to be in the game you have to play it. I'd still rather someone like Chris Sununu stay in politics than chase all the good ones well, out. Well, he, well, he needs to have a moral compass. And if someone does not have a moral compass, I don't want them representing Moral them. compasses if need to leave politics. That. Moral compasses leave politics, not the way our system's no, set up. No, there's, there's a Mitt Romney's. There's, 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 there's Mitt Romney's. Exactly. There's Liz Cheney. Yeah, there's people leaving. That have and they're getting primaried out. out. They're, they're, they're exactly, they're that's exactly the point. They don't have a place in our politics because our system is so flawed that we're catering to the Well, it's not the system. It's not the system. 
the people are flawed. The people are flawed. Exactly. We are put. We are allowing ourselves to accept things that we never, never, ever, ever would have allowed to happen at any. Hey, listen, if <laughs> if Obama had said, forget it. <laughs> I grab women by the hoo hoo. He'd be six foot under. They, they would have lost their minds. People would have lost their minds. Six foot under Listen, scale. Bill Clinton. You know, I saw, you know, I, I heard moral compass. Michelle when, Obama with, would have killed him with, before he even went to an election. Yeah. But the point yeah, is, the there point. are there are things missing in the people we are yeah. putting in yeah. office. They lack moral that are, compass. That, that, well, it's not just what they lack empathy. They lack a lot of stuff that yep. you and I do not. We can dis disagree, but we don't lack empathy for each other, and that's a problem when you're running is, the it's country. It's happening because the voters we are, are allowing it. Th no, we've allowed it to just. We've allowed so much stuff in that it, it's going to take us two years, three years, four years to come back from this. Because this is, this is deep, deep, deep mess. We've allowed deep mess in all of this. This is on us. So you know what you need to do. I know what you need to do.